I'm surprised by how simple this mic is. This is an I2S mic from Adafruit. It's incredibly simple. There's only like six wires. And um, I've got this wired to a CM4 I.O. board here with actually a CM5 in it. I'm testing for uh, a carrier board here just to see if I can integrate the mic into the PCB. And uh, this works really well, the I2S mic. I'm amazed. This uh, Braincraft hat, it also works, but it's a little more, it's actually quite a bit more complicated. Uh, there's a lot more components um, for the I2S mic part. There's a codec chip. I think it's like W8960. And uh, we'll put it this way. This is much simpler. Uh, there's also this chip as well. Very similar. But I think this is like a dollar or two more. Yeah. Yeah, this it works on the Raspberry Pi 5. I'll put all the links, all the relevant links in the description. Here's a great link from uh, Adafruit here. I only had to make a couple little adjustments to get this working here. Uh, for example, uh, I think it'll probably work without it, but I did take the select signal here and uh, tie this to ground as well. And here is everything recording here with Whisper C++. I'm running the base model. And everything I just said is recording. Very neat. All right, I swapped in this chip here, the SPH0645. The pinout is exactly the same as the other one. And uh, I didn't even unplug the thing. And it's just working fine. That is cool. That is, it doesn't really get any simpler than that. Configuring this only takes a few minutes to do that. You go to the boot firmware directory, then uh, you have to be an administrator to go into the config.txt file, go in there, and then add this one line at the bottom right here, this DT overlay for Google Voice Hat, yada, 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 then save it and exit. After the DT overlay is done, then reboot, then do navigate to the uh, home directory so cd forward slash and then a record dash l to list the card here we go the cards listed we have card zero now what we're going to do is sudo a record dash d this is our card card zero one channel and then here's a bunch of other information press enter and here we go. We're getting some volume here. And the louder I talk, um, talking into, I'm not talking close enough to the microphone, but the louder I talk, the higher the level goes. And there it is. Cool. So it's working. All right. We're going to navigate to the whisper.cpp directory. And then we're going to run whisper. We're running the base model here. And uh, this was all installed in a previous video. I'll, uh, video. I'll put the link in the description. Press enter, and here we go. We're up and running. And the mic is getting the data. And the closer I am to the mic here, the better. The closer my voice is to the mic, the better. All right, it's working here on the Raspberry Pi 5 as well. And this is exciting. Just yesterday, uh, the maker of Whisper.cpp, uh, Georgi Gurganov, uh, here's his whole, here's his GitHub here. I'll put this in the description. He made a um, couple changes just yesterday, but I tried it and it worked. I'll show you how that works here. Um, you gotta get the model. Here's the base model. Yada yada yada. So. Here's the quick start. All right, so what you first need to do is make sure you have CMake installed. So that's a single line here, sudo apt install dash y CMake. That'll install it. Then you can check your version of CMake if you want. This will tell you your version maintained by Kitware. Next, what you do is you come here, clone this. So you just 
copy this line here, bring this over to your terminal, paste, boom, clone it, go down to this line, so then you go into your directory, then you copy this line, get your model, then what you do, here's the Raspberry Pi uh, extension of Whisper C++, you got to make sure you, you install this this library, the SDL2 library, so you copy this line here, put that in your terminal over here. Then what you do is enter cmake dash b build and then dash d whisper and you want to make sure this underscore SDL2 equals on, so you're going to include the SDL2 library we just uh, installed then type this cmake dash dash build space build then dash dash config and then release this takes a couple minutes for all this to work I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all these lines and put them in the description to make it easier for you then you run it when you're ready with this dot forward slash build forward slash bin forward slash stream press enter and here we go we are up and running takes a little bit of time to get started at first but it's going note this also works with the USB mic I put this in just to test it but it'll work with the I2S mic, the USB mic so on and so forth alright well thank you for watching and take care